uh, not just today, but are you tired of sitting in the office uh, with, with no players behind um, you? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's we're really we're, we're working still, but uh, you know, it's just different without the players around. It's just it's just different, but you know, we're still working. So <laughs> until vacation starts, we're all right. You're probably better prepared for free agency than ever before, right? <laughs> yeah, really are. You know, we've been going back and forth, you know, through all the lists, and you know, obviously once the draft happened, we, had, we some guys came off the list. So uh, yeah, we're ready. When it happens, we'll be ready. Is there a spot or two you can identify as if when it starts you're going to go hardest at? Um, you know, I don't think we're really going to target. There's a couple players that we're interested in, and uh, you know, it's so hard right now just because you don't know if they're, you know, how it goes. If they're really going to go back to their team, if, if that's the case, you're probably not going to get them. So until you can actually talk to the players, you just, you just don't know. How about uh, someone like a Plax Cobras? Are, are you allowed to tell us whether or not you'd be interested in yeah, anything like that? I can't, can't, like can't talk about players. No. Tom, do you need another safety to start next to Ward? Um, you know, uh, you know, right now I think Mike Adams is the penciled in right now is the guy. He's probably going to play almost all safety for us. Um, but you know, we'll we'll see. There's a few guys in free agents, and you know, see what happens with the undrafted rookies. You know, so uh, we still have a couple other options out there. If there was going to be a shortened season, and you guys didn't get started on things till later, would would that affect your free agency plans at all? Uh, no, it really wouldn't. Um, you know, I like I said, we're not going to be gung-ho in free agency. So, I mean, there's a couple guys that we may be interested in, but, you know, it's not going to be enough where it's going to affect, you know, how we, you know, practice and all that stuff. Is this schedule, the team schedule as far as, I, know, I mean, obviously you haven't had any mini camps. Right. Does it keep changing, like, on a weekly basis as yeah. far as what, what you're going to do? And it really does. And you can talk with Pat, but Pat's got... 800 different scenarios, you know, he just does. If we start now, this is, you know, we're going to get these OTAs in there. So he just, every day, it just, you know, obviously when they disappear, they disappear. And, you know, there is a cutoff date, obviously, somewhere where, you know, everybody's going to be on vacation and, you know, we'll get back when we get back. But, uh, you know, it is, he has a bunch of different scenarios and we're, we'll be ready if, you know, if we have tomorrow, if we're ready to go, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready. How hard is it for Coach coming in this year? He doesn't know a lot of the players. I, I, I mean, how do you think he's going to deal with that? I mean, he's gonna deal great, you know. It's just, uh, you know, and I think it's not just Pat; it's the position coaches. You know, they just don't, they don't know the players, and uh, they, you know, a couple of them they've talked on the phone when we had the little open opening, uh, but to actually sit down and meet with them, they just haven't done it. So, uh, you know, whenever that happens, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to sit and talk with them and see what kind of guys they have. But uh, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. When How about uh, the, oh, go ahead. vacation does start, you have to keep your phone with you more more than usual. <laughs> well, we said you know, there's going to be vacation, but don't be spending a lot of money putting down on houses and, and don't go out of the country because you know we might be back. So, uh, yeah, but you know we'll be gone, but we'll be ready to come back if we have to. To what extent does does not only Pat but the entire coaching staff? know what they have just by looking at film or do they they really need to see the guys in person um no i mean they, they can tell from the tape but you know they would like to see them you know and just before we make any you know drastic decisions which we'll, we'll have time whenever it starts we're gonna have time before we play a game so you know they'll get they'll have plenty of time to, to see their players